Planks, squats, and the treadmill. The usuals for any gym buff. But when you're 92 years old? But then it got too high, and if it's too high, then, Ugh. But if it's a little bit lower, then I can. And up you go. Keep your head up. Keep Karen Conradi drives, cooks, cleans, and works out with a trainer once a week. She's been hitting the gym for the past four years and says she doesn't worry about getting hurt. Lie down on your back and lift up your leg. Nothing will happen. And Conradi raises the bar for people of all ages. Her range of motion is incredible. She's very flexible and she's really, really strong. <laughs> As Karen demonstrates, age shouldn't be a factor when it comes to staying fit, even if you're in your 90s. So what we used to think were inevitable changes of aging, we now realize are the consequence of prolonged inactivity. It means if you stay active, you stay young. And in fact, you might be able to reverse the aging process. Brusowski says that even if you're above 65, you're capable. Another example, Catherine and Richard Roberts. They just qualified for the World Masters Triathlon. They're 66 and 70. There's nothing to be afraid of, and I think fear of, of getting hurt or, or something like that is, is why most people don't do it, and uh, you've got to make the time for it as well. And their schedule is jammed with fitness, from running to swimming to speed skating. As you get old, you have all kinds of aches and pains and you have to kind of put it in perspective and not hurt yourself, but work it out, work through it and, and uh, keep doing something else. And Conradi is proof. If you use it, you don't lose it. You have to keep up. You know, don't let go. When you are tired and want to lie down, you know, it becomes a habit slowly and gradually. Don't let that come to you because then, then you really get old. Christina Partsinevelis, CBC News, Edmonton.